Hello, and yeah, we're going to be just coaching some of your games, Sounder. Uh, this is on Twitch, so if I sound like I'm talking to a chat, it's likely because I am. Um, okay, so let's get into these VODs. <laughs> So, first one is TC Undertale. Hello, Henna. We're just going to do these one at a time. I don't know when I'm going to have to go for a team scrim, but... Okay, so comp is Wiper, Double Splash, Machine, fair enough. Tower, so main push conditions are getting Crab, getting uh, Strikes. Good that you're playing for that. Oh... Uh... you are able to get a pick from this, but Shai's still taking a long time going in. How close are you to... When did Crab come out, actually? So Crab came out here. Headlow is backed up on left side because they're trying to deal with a rapid... If you have a Crab on right side, that's a play. That's something that you should probably have more pressure on right for um if you're being spaced out by a rapid hen though i think as soon as they see you it's going to be a very difficult for you to get into them um especially if you're going to have a crab on right side shy can focus on left side uh for now they're very um clumped up on right side uh the rapid can pretty much hold this alone Like, having a bit more support on right would be helpful. Okay, so... I think you still mobilize off of that pretty well. Um, getting a pick off the crab, um, and then moving up with the rapid. Toast is moving up here. I don't know why Henlo is just sort of staying back. Yeah, I think... Toast might have been expecting Henlo to be with them. Um, you have two splashes already on left side, getting all the pain in the world, all the like specials in the world for you. Um, I think... Okay. Let's go back here. In this position where you have first check, um, you're getting second. You being under this ledge gives you no more than what splashes are already sort of giving you. Um... While well, Toast is going under right ledge. Like, you already have bomb spam from the splashes on left. I think um, this is a sort of solo queue place to be. Um, and that's fine for solo queue. But when you're playing with um, Toast here, I think you want to be capitalizing on going right side. You have Hammer. You have Booyah as well. So, like, if you go in with uh, Toast Booyah here, um, then you can maybe get some play made. Um, worst case you die, you have QR as a wiper. Toast doesn't have... Yeah, Toast doesn't have QR <laughs> as Machine. I was going to be concerned if they did. <laughs> um, but like here after Machine goes down, it's a lot harder to go in. Yeah, you're going to trade that out. Um, so. Uh, yeah. Hello's trying to go in on right side, but remember tower moves left here. Shy, I think you're on tower a little too 
too far up. Um, like, you're one down here. They're going to be trying to pincer in from the So, okay. Yeah, and your teammates are... Your teammates are going in for the fight on right side. Uh, be aware of what fights your team is taking, even if you're support. Um, just having more awareness of teammates are not in front of tower. So. Here, you're very separated. Good fight. Good fights. So they're two down here. I don't know why Toast isn't just moving up here. Actually, wait, yeah. Play for a second check. That's my bad. That said. What killed Toast here? It's a combination of Crab and Jet. Um... You use a lot of resources here to try to get control, but they just... Okay, after they were using Strike and Booyah themselves... Or Strike and Inkjet, and then this crab came out. I think this is where you sort of have to give them space, yeah. I don't think Scrub needed to back up that far. You have Toast still with you. They haven't dropped down yet. That's still relatively safe. Now it's not because Storm dropped. Bit of tunnel vision on right. Good stamp. But the main thing is just, I think you're getting caught out a lot on right side. Um, actually. Yep. Sorry, I just want to go back to this because I feel like I missed um, why this didn't work. So you have a crab out. The fact that the crab was shredded before you got the jet, um, which was popped first, that's the main question. They were used at about the same time. I don't know if crab on tower is what you want because if you notice, uh, they have two specials here. Okay, so as soon as they have Jet here, that's something that you should be expecting on Tower. So they're going to be using things to slow you down still. I think the fact that they had to pop it for the crab is fair. Um, I think be a little more aware of um, when. Never mind. I don't know what Shy is doing on the right side. You still have a lot of paint on left. I guess it's like to prevent them from dropping down on right, but you don't really need that. The tower moves left if um. They drop down on the right side, then they're there without paint, and you're getting checkpoint. Here you drop down on left, but then you start looking right again. Yeah. Okay, couldn't see from uh, Henlo's perspective what happened on near tower for that to go down. So here, they have a lot of space around already. After the second check, noticing that they have two people in mid um, should probably be enough of a clue that it's just sort of unsafe. Yeah. Decent trade. I think overall they haven't really been able to get in so far, so how are they able to push this through? 
Scrub should just be getting a crab immediately. Uh, this is a bit of a stagger. Um, yeah, Hemo also goes down to the ancient. Toast, you have Booyah Bomb. If you go down here, then it's even more of a stagger. You're losing special even more. And then, yeah. Good that Shai's making sure not to die here. Decent strikes, but if you're going to strike tower, make sure your teammates are ready to go in with a um Especially because um the Booya Bomb here is separating your team. Uh you're the only one on far right. So they have to get through the entire checkpoint. I think this might actually be a little bit of an early um strike because they just used Booya Bomb. They're using strike now. And the machine's trying to go in on left side. So even j without seeing all that, you just see the booyah. You just hear the strikes being thrown. They have to get through their entire checkpoint. Um, you can wait for your teammate specials a little more. Um, note that the... Like, the main ways that they were able to stall you out on um, their disadvantage was um, by having multiple specials here. So with that wipe, it's going to be lead. Uh, I want to double check how you all staggered them to see if there's anything from that. A little too early here. So Hemlo starts to back up here. Toast as well. Scrub moves in here. Why are you re-engaging Hemlo? This is very unsafe. Um, even if you have QR, it's like you're not able to go into a fight like this. Scrub as well. Like In a situation like this, you can play Lim. Playing Lim, Lim wins games. So, um, just Make sure to note when um, you note what your win con is on defense. Um, the main thing is crab. I think if a hand low dies here, it's not as bad as if scrub dies here. Uh, so by you moving in that far, um, when they spotted you and caught you out for it, um, Like, in this situation, don't prioritize saving him, though. Prioritize just getting him. And then if you get damaged at all, just back up immediately as far as possible. You need that crap. I know there was a little bit of latency there, but... And Toast in this position, I think just dropping down right side is what you want. Uh, if you have left side, it doesn't really help you. You've already went, um... 1-2 down by the time that, um, you get here. So, be aware of if your teammates are getting rushed. And most importantly, be aware of like when you should be just getting Booyah. So, they got a wipe around here, right? Yeah, now they just have Splash and Machine in your spawn, so. Kenlo goes in a bit too far for that pick alone. Uh, I think, actually. Let's hope that's a uh, spec latency. So here on respawn, the machine's here. Oh, this drop is just unfortunate. Um, but it's something that can't really be happening at your level. Um, just make sure. Um. Like if you were there to provide more chip damage for the machine, I think Kenlo would have won that. Yeah, they're getting pre-fired by the crab. So the main way they started that snowball was um through a 
after the checkpoint, y'all staggered hard. Um, mainly just machine dropping down on the left side, splash going in to try to help uh, Henlo, who probably shouldn't have been going in there, just like spamming torps, getting stamp. Um, because you have a push to second checkpoint, they still don't even have first. You can wait for them. And honestly, like going to down there, it's like the main thing you want is just to live. You don't want to give up just for check for free, of course, but try not to wait. Or, well, try not to stagger specifically. Not getting your specials there um, was the main thing. Your position is going to get caught out a lot for... Um, Even things that are like minusculely unsafe. So, next game is Clam Sprite Mortar. Okay, so here you have a sea jet instead of splash, so you can definitely see what you run it on. Uh, Bright Mortar, the main thing that it changes is instead of strike, so your main way of getting in is crab, yeah. and of course the wife are getting picks, so. How do you start this? They don't have a backline here. Taking a while for you to actually pop crab scrub. This is giving them all of mid. Wait, actually, you might just be baiting the specials. Hold on, I might be blind. Yeah, you bait their crab here, and then they're straight. So, waiting this out is fire. I think the main thing is just drop. Being forced to drop down on right, if you're trying to um, bait their specials in, don't get stuck here. Good that you both jumped from that. Um, it just shouldn't have to come to that, you know? And then I think knowing that your teammates are in a position where they can't capitalize scrub, I think um, waiting a little bit for this... Um, well, you're using it with rain. The rain and crab couldn't be capitalized on because you will drop down on right side, so... You weren't able to capitalize on that. Hello, you're sticking on Sniper a while here. Um, Scrub had to back up from that spot partly because, um, yeah, partly because um, there was no support there, so it was just like. Not really safe to hold this. And then the Booyah pressures them out completely. This is a team fight you should win. Hanlo, you should not be going down here. Um. Let's see. So Pelu goes in for an unsafe poke. I don't know if it's worth it to drop down for that. Um, well, you have QR, so. I wonder how ready we're to capitalize on that. You're spending a lot of time here just looking at Snipe. Your back is the scrub right now, which is why they have to back up. Then here, your eyes go back to mid. Remember, Shy has eyes on mid. Um, you don't need to be watching this as much as Shy. Um, 
yeah, those mechanics were impressive from the splash, but uh, part of the reason why you were so slow to capitalize on that is um, just not recognizing how much paint they're getting on right side. Um, or like the fact that they are getting that space to try to move up. Um, machine's able to trade it out, so fair enough. Maybe I was too nitpicky there. Good pick. Okay, three down here. Especially with the, going with the crab, so good timing for that. You don't have clams here. I don't know how much you wanted to be um, going in for that. Especially once it, once they pop crap here, it's like extremely unsafe to try to continue pressuring it. Since now they have a pick as well, if it was just a crab and nothing else, then um, honestly, it might just be worth it to give them that space. So then you're able to take fights a bit easier from far left. Okay, good push. How do you all capitalize on this? So you still have Clems to go in from this, but I think after that, after that, your push is sort of over, so. Good fallback, Henlo re-engages, so might die here. Yep. Shai is able to trade it out though, so impressive from Shai. Um, I think the main thing is just if you're going to be backing up this is the same thing that happened on um, Undertow. Be wary of when you're re-engaging Henlo. Because like they're going to be pushing into you with that with some advantage, but they're going to be doing so a little unsafely. Um, that's something for Shy and Scrub to punish more than you. Um, the main thing with Wiper is its code time is pretty slow. Um, so if you get into a 1v1 like that, you're going to have to... Um, Either be at melee range or just sort of have to back up and um, just be non committal. Like shooting like one horizontal swipe, if that, and then just getting a bit more space in mid where you have scrub, um, where you have shy to defend you better. Um, because they're already moving forward here. I think if you would have just backed up here, they would have been baited into shy anyways. So I don't think you need to go down for this. Toast is sharking here and is able to get some chip damage. Scrub not quite able to um, capitalize on that. I know your support. Um, still be aware of where... If your Slayer is near you, especially. Maybe being ready to turn it into a 2v1, even just by throwing a Burst Bomb or two. Um... Like right here, you're focusing on painting over the Booyah Bomb, but where are they going to be pushing from? Probably right. And so then by looking at that, there was so much time dedicated to looking at the Booyah instead of where they're going to be coming from for right side, uh, that you're not able to help out uh, Toast on right side. So that said, still a good pick there. Good double. It's just um that could have happened a little bit faster without Toops having to fully drop down the right side. Is that the second time Henlo ran into a crab? There's a crab on left. Yep. Ran into it. Give crabs a little bit more space, Henlo. Uh, you can wait them out. Especially on Brian Water. Like, you you will die if you push a crab from the front here. <laughs> um, it, 
on a map like Undertow, where like you have a lot of different ways to ignore it, it's a lot more understandable that you try to like find an off angle for it. Brinewater is sort of not one of those maps. Like if they use it from a spot like left choke, where it's just like impossible to get them out of there unless you use a special of your own. And they're using it when they're already like one or two down, so it's just like you have a lead, you can just give them space and respect it, wait it up. Here you have two specials, you've been holding them for a while. I think you can try to make a play from them. You have rain here. Why is the rain coming out first? You're holding special for so long here. If you're waiting for them to push in here, then they're going to be pushing in with specials. You have a wiper on your team. If you're going to be playing this passive, play three splashes in a machine. You have a wiper. Play aggressive. Um, by aggressive, I mean when you have two specials at the ready here, and it's neutral, you better be using crab at least um, to try, try to get something. Probably Booyah as well. Give Henlo a space to move up. Right now, they're just spamming torpedo and doing nothing to really get there. Like They're charging stamp. Stamp is not going to help when they have a crab and strike. Um, and especially like, um, right here where you still have the majority of the map. Um, whenever they show show like any sort of indication of wanting to move in, like this this move from Pelu. Scrub, you're focusing on right useless a lot more than you should be. Um, you have crab. Try to find an opportunity to use it. Uh, like here, once they push you, this machine's already in a spot so that they're able to just shoot over you, forcing you to ball form, meaning you're losing so much value out of crab here once you're actually being pushed. This is a very reactive crab. Use it proactively. Like, yeah, you're able to get them out of here, but because of that, you're having to use Booyah on right side as well. That area is useless when it comes to uh, getting back mid control. And then, um, as far as the machines, Booyah. Let's see. I think the main thing with the Booyah is just it gives you and uh, the Wiper a chance to push in here. You're wanting to push in, but there's no, like, space for it, really. Okay, that was a little too late. But like here, as soon as your wiper respawns, it's like, where can you sh use this? You're spamming fizzies on right side, but right doesn't matter if you're trying to push left. And like, if they're on right side, then that means they're separated from their team. Here you see them move back into left side. You can be all left here. Uh, I... Don't know if Scrub saw that, so maybe there wasn't a call out for them. Um, but regardless, just making a play for getting left side control is probably going to be a lot more valuable than um just focusing on right useless here. Because if you all focus on right useless and not left mid, you're giving them left mid for free. While Shy is the only one who's like able to pressure that. And then once they strike snipe, uh Shy has Shy has to back up, giving them left side control. And then they're able to start pressuring right. And only now did your positions actually come into play because you had mid control. You had two specials to work with. Um, and like they didn't have clams. So even if the specials didn't get that much value, you're able to charge them again while they're still having to wait to get their own specials, their own clams. Because this positioning from Crab is just not going to get that much value. It's backed up all the way. It's getting hit by a machine. And this positioning from a Bia Bomb as well. Like, you don't have him though up front. You have to focus on bottom right. Because you waited for the movement and then he reacted. I've spent way too much time on this play. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> Good pick there. So how did 
Kos get left alone here? So Scrub's on Snipe with Shy. 63 to Crab. Okay. We are bump separates in with those two specials. Yeah, makes sense that Toast would go down. You're so close to Crab. Yeah, just use it immediately. This is partly just aftermath of uh, letting them get into right without really using it. They didn't use any specials to get in, except for just strike to get shy out of a uh, snipe. Because once they're able to get that in with that, they were able to get so many specials. Like this splash doesn't have any strike. Wait, my bad, that was a bit earlier. So after Shy goes down here, Pimlo's forced to jump back. Scrub begins to anchor, but... I think after you go down, after you go one down, Pimlo also goes down, which is not promising. I think of this position... Hmm. Yeah. This is, once you went two down with Shy and Henlo, they were just able to get a lot of specials in push-in. Um, as far as Toast's position... There, Toast gets a pick. Henlo tries to go in after that to capitalize. Toast backs up, and Scrub is our, like way back here. This is a difference in what the team wants to do. Henlo tries to go in, but is alone, so no one's able to trade out his death. That's the main problem here. And now, only now does Toast get back into position to help Henlo, but it's already too late. And now they're just able to get specials and use them with uh, the stagger. I don't know if Henlo running in here is the best option either. Um, especially since her crab is coming out. Um, just waiting for it. Or trying to lower the crab's value on right side by going to mid, maybe. Because then it would like force the machine, for example, to choose between going for power clam and going for UM mid. I know hindsight's 2020, but at the very least, like just if you have specials that are very close to being ready, playing for them. Uh, don't die before they come out because then you won't be there to defend it, and you won't be there to get value out of that crab as well. Good team fight. You have a rain out. Close to all of your other specials. Just if you go down here with Booyah, you have Booyah, when do you use it? You have Crab, when do you use it? You just had a rain out. Henlo's been distracting two on left. Where are your specials? You're still holding Crab. Henlo is going in and you're still holding Crab. And now you're using it in a position where it's like going to be a hit by Booyah. Um, because you held it for so long, they were able to wait and get Booyah to use it. If you would have used it earlier, yeah, it would have been like from left mid instead of uh, left choke. So you wouldn't have been able to help snipe as well. But you would have gotten a lot more value out of it because you wouldn't have to move for that. You give Henlo a way to get in.
to get that space, and then you have a Booyah Bomb as well, so. I almost got clutch, but alas. Um, I just want to look at that last play again to see what happened with the machine. Uh, because I think Scrub is playing extremely safe with Crab. So, like, there are a lot of opportunities for them to use it. Here. Oh, okay. That was not early enough. Gotcha. So here you have Booyah still. You're wanting to get into left choke so Scrub can crab. Scrub is wanting to get in left with... Scrub's wanting to get into left. To crab. And... So is Toast to Booyah. The problem is, because... Both of you want in here, and neither of you are using a special to get control of it. Neither of you are able to get in here. <laughs> also, Hemo is distracting too. Something, something. Oh, you traded two here. Never mind. Uh, I think getting two for that. Um, you did also have Hemo die for it, so it's like two trades. It just buys them time. Should I also just sitting here and spamming mist um, when you have a little bit more space to work with? I wonder. I don't know if you need to grab Petty this early because you don't have a clear way in. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so that's 27 plus 20. So you almost have lead just with the claims that you have right now. Um, but the thing this does is uh, it also, um, takes away your, uh, overtime opportunity, so. High risk, high reward, I guess. So curious as to how the wiper flanked here. That's every time that has happened, that's caught me off guard. So I think if you're going to be sitting on snipe like this, shy, um, when you have control, all control of mid. It's just very limiting. Um, like, the benefit of having a backline is so that you have someone who can watch the flank as well, while having a little bit of pressure up front, um, instead of just having someone who goes all the way in with everyone else. So if you're going to be sitting this far back... Um, the timing of moving in here... This Viper should not be catching you off guard. Um, so how to combat that? Well, first, you're sitting on Snipe, not doing... Well, you're painting over what they're um, doing, but I see you, Dio. I'll be there as soon as possible. Sorry. Uh, teammates in stream. But look at where the Viper respawns on the top of the map. Um... If it's a very neutral state like this, um, you're not going to be taking that many fights as a CJ. Uh, you can afford to be looking a little bit more at um, like what's given to you. So the uh, heads-up display on the top and the map. Um, this is more of a heads-up display thing, just recognizing, okay, the wiper's alive now. We're not really seeing it from left. Like This is a very minute thing to notice because they do take... A flank that's been painted earlier in the match. It hasn't been repainted. Um, 
might be a thing to consider when you have all that pain in mid. Um. But yeah, that trade's going to uh, cost you a lot of momentum with the Booyah. So. Yeah. I think, um... The main things I noticed from this were, uh... You're holding Crab and Booyah a lot, so that's making you lose a lot of momentum because the opponent's able to get more specials and um, use that. The benefit of having a wiper over something else like an additional splash is the pacing of your uh, plays, the pacing of your fights. Um, if you have two specials, looking for like a way to use them to get... I think just holding them for that long means that the opponent's able to get their own specials. Um, even if you're just able to get space with it, and then they're coming back with their own specials, they're having to use them afterwards. Um, to, like, reclaim that space. So I think that's still a win instead of having to contest against their specials. Um, aside from that, there is some re-engaging. It's happening with a uh, Henlo, and just be aware of like when you're backing up to play lame for disadvantage. Don't, try not to stagger. Um, that happened in both both times. Um, like if you're jumping in for a suicide push like that um, at the very end of Brandwater, that's fine. Um, just when you were very much alive, very much like backing up with your team, shooting back at them will be a high risk. So, take care. Uh, this is my first time coaching a, like, top-level team, so um, if I said anything that was, like, already apparent to you, um, sorry about that. Um, I was also a little slow. It should be, it should get better with time. So, thanks for letting me see these games. Um, I'll also get to the third one when possible. I don't know what that will be. But yeah, See you around.